Yeah. Have you written have you <laughs> The funniest thing is. I thought that just standing here. Uh, Mr. Stephen. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Why do you use any of this? Uh, germinating mix at all i mean why use any soil at all it's so such a small amount we use just a small amount of soil so that the soil will hold water it will form a very good contact with the seed as the seed swells it will hold water and stop it drying out until the seedling can establish a root system and so even though it looks like it's just a paltry amount of soil it's really critical to the process. Uh, Mr. Steve. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> I can, you, here. can you, uh, do, do you use the bales of straw for several years or just for one? Just for one year because they will disappear. They'll be decomposing as they're providing nutrients to the plants that's growing, that are growing on them. And do you think these bales will kill the Bermuda grass under them over time? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. yes. He's just saying that because that's what you want to hear. That's right. Because <laughs> last year, because it So we're hoping that this will enrich the soil and then we can maybe even use this to plant directly into the soil. Correct. And then move the bales out further Correct. for the next year. That's a good plan. See how, see how that, the roots So it's have, cut down. And then if you do that. Yeah. The roots will, 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 it causes the roots to split and spread and they won't get root base. Gives them a little bit of a better chain. Dr. Garden. Yes, sir. Uh, if we're getting, if we're going to put in, um, if we're putting in blood meal, we're, get, we're giving it nitrogen. We're putting in bone meal, we're giving it phosphorus. But where is it getting all the other nutrients other than those two? Well, at the moment, the, you see, we're putting in the blood meal and the, um, Bone, bone meal because they take a long time to break down uh -huh. so that we've got to get bacteria working on the blood meal and the bone meal to release those nutrients to the plant. Now the potassium, there are several sources of potassium that we could use that would be readily available. So we're not going to put those in today. The only reason we're putting those other two in is because they will need time to release their nutrients as these plants grow and need them. 